Greetings, beloveds. Mm -hmm. Let your hearts be filled with the love of this seemingly chance encounter. Beloveds, it has been stated that there are no chance encounters. Everything has been scripted. Everything has been designed. You can resist. You can balk. You can say no. And yet, when the voice speaks to you and says, talk to this person, and you do, and you engage, a miracle occurs. You have stepped out of the realm of fear, and you have stepped into the realm of love. It is indeed each and every moment an encounter with the divine. The divine within you encounters the divine within another. Mm -hmm. Namaste. We have all traveled together from times far beyond memory. We have been the teachers. You say, beloved, that you are reluctant to be a teacher, but you cannot help yourself for that is what you are. Mm -hmm. Know that beings are placed before us and there is always an opportunity to step beyond the realm of fear and to step into the realm of love. And when it was spoken to you to speak with him, you let go of your fear. You opened your heart to this being and they shared with you their pain. There was forgiveness within you and then forgiveness could be granted unto them. Every time that you're willing to say, this is where I am afraid, it releases you. you there is instantaneous forgiveness and then there is gratitude and then there is love. Mm -hmm. What questions do you have? What is it that you would like me to confirm that you already know is the truth? <laughs> I'm one of those people that it needs like five confirmations over and over. <laughs> um, so I, I'm going to ask you, and uh, you just did, so you think this podcast is is a good idea. <laughs> I thank you for saying yes. Okay. One moment, beloveds. Thank you for saying yes. I thank you for the art. I mm -hmm. thank you for the stories. I thank you for the willingness. You have been blessed with your partner as a role model to show you the ease. Mm -hmm. This will be a thing. Mm -hmm. There is a graciousness to you. There is a humility to you. Mm -hmm. This will be felt. And this will be sought out, beloved. Mm -hmm. And someday you may go from five confirmations to three confirmations. And someday you may go from three confirmations to two confirmations. And someday you may go from two confirmations to one confirmation. And someday you will go to zero confirmations because you will know and you will remember. Mm -hmm. This is your journey and you take this at your leisure. Mm -hmm. I am here always, as I always have been and as I always will be. And I thank you for saying yes. Thank you. Indeed. Thank you, this, this means a lot. Thank you. you. mean a lot. <laughs> Beloved, you are a reflection of all of those around you. Each of you are. From the being that gives all to the being that will hit and harm another. Understand, beloveds, that this is behavior that they have indeed learned, that they have indeed taken on. And there comes incarnations where they say, it is no longer appropriate for me to do this. Mm -hmm. And they change and they alter. Evolution is occurring for each of you, for all of you. Hmm. 
as goes one, goes all. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. Blessings to you. Does anyone else have a question? <laughs> I feel like I'm taking up all the time. Well, I'll ask another if you're not going to ask anything. Is that okay? <laughs> when I try to channel, <clears throat> you know, call you in, call Jesus in, and I ask my yes and no questions, I get, for a yes, I get all this energy coming through me. And I'm, I'm just guessing that that means you're with me and that's, that's yes, another confirmation. Do you, is that, is that true? Beloved, I am always with you. What you are experiencing is that you have adapted and channeled your frequency to be able to communicate. Mm -hmm. Otherwise you are left in the realms of doubt and fear and ego. And when you come and you open your heart, indeed you feel me. Mm -hmm. We're very familiar one to the other. Mm -hmm. So in answer to your question, yes. Yes. And the choice is always yours. Mm -hmm. I am ever steady. I am ever present. Mm -hmm. I am the channel. I am the way. I am the conduit for you to experience your divinity. Mm -hmm. And when you choose to be with me, that is the energy that you feel. Yes, sometimes it's very strong. And I, I really love it. That makes me very happy. So thank you. Thank Indeed. you. Indeed. Confirmation. <laughs> well, this has been very helpful. Thank you. Indeed. Are there any other questions that any of you would like to ask at this time? I'd like to ask a question on the opposite end of that. I feel like I know you're with me when I call you in and when I call my guides in. Yes. But um, I don't channel, I don't get energy, I don't get you know, a lot of these signs that people tend to get. And I know it's my own journey. Um, I guess I feel like I want to, I want to do more. I want to be able to do more. And um, I feel blocked about that. Although I feel like my guidance, the guidance that you're with me it's almost a sure thing that I know what I'm supposed to do. So I guess I'm just wondering if I'm supposed to channel, if I'm supposed to be getting these bolts of energy, I, I'm not feeling it. Beloved, there is fear that you live with. Fear that you maintain over your future, fear that you maintain over your finances, there is a place there you have focused on the scarcity rather than the abundance. There is a place where you feel that life has changed so dramatically because you have changed your marriage circumstance. But if you could look at this as a way that you have freed yourself to experience an aspect of yourself that is no longer shadowed by calling yourself a wife, calling yourself a mother, if you would allow yourself to come to know who you truly are. You could have any experience that you desire, but there is still a place inside of you that is connected to and judges yourself for things from the past. And it curtails you from being able to experience love in the presence. Does this make sense?
how do I get around that? Do I just you go within release, more? You must release the past and the judgment and the concerns and the fears that you have and bring yourself wholly into the present. I'll help you, Denise. <laughs> you have many beings around you who can help you. And of course, all you need is the willingness to let go. And there is a part of you that holds on very strongly out of fear. And the fear is the, the attunement to the ego. So when you allow yourself to be willing, beloved, to say, I will let go of everything that I have known how to do things, why to do things, where to do things. And I am willing to step into the unknown. I'm willing to let spirit guide me. I'm willing to not know the answer to every question and how things should be done and the judgment that you inflict upon yourself and others. When you come to a state of forgiveness, true forgiveness, and you are willing to release, let go and surrender to the unknown future, miracles occur. And it is just the place where you say, I am willing to use my will to let the will of God be what it is that directs me and release the fear. It is as if you are sitting at the top of a slide, gripping on so tightly saying, I'm scared what will happen if I let go. And when you let go and you slide, it is the, the ride of a lifetime. But as long as you continue to stay at the top, gripping with fear, you will continue to be stuck as you have experienced. And there will come a point, beloved, where you let go. And in that letting go, you will experience all of the joy that you have been desiring the reason why you stepped away from the relationship that you had or you felt caged. That's, that's um, kind of coincides with the, the meditation I just had. I kind of put myself in a guided meditation and um, I came upon a, a tree with a huge rope swing and my guide was sitting next to me, my higher self, and we swung into the universe, into the stars, into the galaxy. And we swung way back and we swung into another lifetime, but I couldn't quite see what the lifetime was. Uh, but it was almost, it was a very freeing, it was a really freeing experience to be on the swing going into the universe and then back. And then, so I, I see what you're saying to release Let the go. fear. Let go beloved, yes. There is nothing okay. to fear and you hold on to the fear. Right. You have many here who will assist you. Thank you. Indeed. Have we another question? Everybody else wants to ask something, I will not miss the opportunity. Um, I, I, I don't feel like I'm not free. I feel like the description of the Christ did person describes me perfectly and so my question would be the same as Denise what it what is it which is preventing me from stepping into the form of my potential or my power or beloved when you made the decision to work with Sahana Grace there was a conversation that you needed to have with yourself of your worthiness yes that is a conversation that you continue to have with yourself, feeling yeah. worthy. It does not present itself as fear. It presents itself as insecurity and self-doubt. Not feeling that you are worthy 
of all that you are. Mm. Beloved Willem made a statement the other day that one's worthiness is a correlate to the willingness to receive love. Ooh, that's good. Indeed, we thought so. <laughs> he, is, he is brilliant, this one. Beloved, there are places where you stop yourself from receiving love. Mm. There are places where you have judged what love is and how it should look and how it should come to you and how you should feel. You have said no to many things. And these are forms of fear. Mm. These are forms of stopping the flow of life. So work along these lines, the place where you still say, I cannot see, I cannot hear when you open your records. Beloved, you are the one stopping yourself. So go in and do the work to open yourself. You have the tools, you have the platform, you have the guidance, you have the support, you have cohorts who will assist you with this. And more than just those who are in your class, there are some 40 beings here that will come forth and assist you, but you know by name. And then the thousands upon thousands who will help you as well. Find out why you said no. Find out why out of fear, you closed down your abilities and open them back up. For that is where your fear is. Anywhere that you cannot see, anywhere that you cannot know, anywhere that you cannot feel, anywhere that you cannot hear, that you cannot taste, you, you cannot smell, anywhere that you have closed off the senses, the physical senses within the body, and then the extrapolation of them into the, what Sahana Grace calls the clairs, is a place where you have said, this is to be feared, and you close it. And it is time for opening beloved. So if you feel that you live an existence as a Christ of being, how is it that you could not see? How is it that you could not know? It is a place where you have instilled fear and all you need do beloved is look within and allow yourself to fear, feel the fear. Beloved Willem most recently had the opportunity in working with my beloved to open his heart to love once again. It would be good for the two of you to work together. Okay. He can show you the way and you two have worked together many incarnations, you are known one to the other. There is a natural affinity. So before you can say, I stand here fully as a Christ of being beloved, you must clean out every nook and cranny and crumb and corner of where you have left fear behind, where you have indulged in fear and allow love to come in beloveds and call upon me and call upon my beloved and call upon all of us who guide you. And we will help you to bring light and truth and love to your precious consciousness. Thank you. Indeed. Beloveds, my heart is with and for all of you always. We will have more of these conversations. Thank you. Indeed. Thank you. Blessings to you, beloveds. And I will speak with you again. Thank you. Oh, well, that was fun. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lynn. <laughs>